Welcome to another video on how to do stuff with your Garmin Zumo XT. Today I'll show you how to create a route using the Garmin Explorer phone app or website and follow it with turn-by-turn -turn directions on your Zumo XT. I'm Alex and this is the Driftless Rider. Before we get too far, you'll want to make sure you have your Garmin Zumo XT set up and enabled to sync with Garmin Explorer. I'll put a link in the video from Garmin on how to properly set up your GPS and enable Garmin Explorer. You also need a Garmin account. One other thing to note is that you will need an internet connection for this to work. If you are out and about, your phone's mobile data will work, but uh, you will need something. GPS still works at creating its own routes, you just can't do it on your phone. We'll start by clicking the plus sign in the top left corner and select Add Route. From here, all you have to do is add points that you want to go to. In my case, I was going from Dewey Nelson State Park in Cassville, Wisconsin, and I was going to go down to Dubuque, Iowa. But I wanted to take a fun road nearby that was somewhat out of the way. So I marked out my points here. So we put a starting point down here on Dewey Nelson State Park. And then we just clicked and dragged and made sure that you know, okay, so here, zooming in on the road, that's the road I wanted to take here. It's called Good Enough Hollow Road. It's a fun road. Recommend it. As you're using the app, if you run into problems, that little uh, question mark icon in the top right is actually pretty helpful. It brings up a screen that explains how all the buttons work. If you notice that your points are sticking to some objects that are in your map, such as waypoints or points of interest, you can go ahead that little magnet icon in the top right, and that will stop them from auto-locking to those points. And then from there, I keep on clicking. So we kept going. I wanted to make sure I went to Potosi and then made my way back to Dubuque. So once you get your last point in, you hit save up in the top right corner. And up at the top there, you can click uh, to the right of the little pin names up there and you can give the router name. So I'm going to call this Nelson Dewey to Dubuque. We'll save it. And you can add it to a collection if you have created collections. So I added it to my Wisconsin Shenanigans collection. And there you go. It's now the route. Points are created. If you're using the Garmin Explorer website, all you have to do is click the little Add Routes button up in the top middle section there. And we'll go ahead and just go through the same process here. Uh, pretty simple. Just click and add your points. And not much else more to this. I will say with routes, I think you're limited to 200 points. And uh, routes are, are good for if you want to say, hey, I want to go to this spot, I want to go to this spot, I want to go to this spot. And you don't necessarily care how you get there. Once you get the route onto the Zuma XT, the, the Zuma will decide which roads are best to get you to your points. So... Um, if that means you have to add more points to make sure you hit the spots you want to, uh, then make sure you do that. So once you get your last point down, go ahead and, and click again. It says right there, click last point to finish. So we'll do that, and it brings us up. A little title box here. We'll change the name of our route to what we want to. And you can also change the color as well. And from here, you can put it uh, into your collections as well if you have your things organized from there. So now, uh, once there's... Once this is here, the Zumo XT will sync as long as it's connected to the internet through your phone or through your home's Wi-Fi, and you should be all good to go. So let's get back on the bike now and check out our GPS. To get turn by turn directions, we select where to on the home screen, and there we select the Explore option on the top right. Scroll down to Routes, and our route should be there if synced properly. If it hasn't synced, you can select the wrench in the top left corner, and there will be an option to hit Sync with Explore. So we'll select our route, we'll go ahead and hit go in the bottom right, and from here we'll select the green flag. This will route us to the starting point on our route. There are also options to get you to the closest point along the way or the end point. And from there you just click through and click on start, and this will start routing you to your starting point. As I was mentioning earlier, you should always give your route a visual check before going. Uh, here's a video I was kind of making uh, beforehand, I was going to go from Dubuque to Dewey Nelson, and I was just kind of clicking through and I made my route and I didn't take the time to check the route. So here you can see I was going through some spot on the river 
uh, later when I was riding, I saw on the map here that it says, oh, a ferry is required. And I said, oh, that's not right. It was going to route me on the Castville Ferry to get to my destination. It's a fun, fun little trip, but uh, not something I wanted to do. One thing I do like is once you're following a route, you can go and hit this little three dots in the bottom right and select elevation. And this will pull up a little, uh, I guess we'll call it a little graph of the next 30 miles coming up on your route. And I'll show you what the elevation change will be. Out here in Wisconsin, Iowa, that's not that useful. But here's a clip from when I was over in Colorado and I was going through the Monarch Pass. And you can see I was going to go up to 11,600 feet, give or take. And then make it down to 7,600 within the next 30 miles. So that's it. That's all it takes to get a route from Garmin Explorer uh, quickly onto your Zoom RXT. So if you'd like to see a little montage of the route back home to Dubuque, stick around. If you found this video helpful, click the like button down below. If this works, or if it doesn't work, put a comment down below, let me know. This little road here is called Good Enough Hollow Road, and it's just north of Castle, Wisconsin. It's part of the, the Trans-Wisconsin Adventure Trail, and it's one of my favorite places to go. There's two creek crossings that are usually guaranteed to have water because somebody takes the time to dam the creek here. So we'll see if I get out and do the trans Wisconsin Trail this year or not. Uh, with schedules, we'll see what happens. Uh, if it does, we'll get a video out. If not, hopefully next year. We'll see. And if you're still here at this point, one thing I wasn't going to put in the video then decided it wasn't that important, people will probably figure it out, is that uh, if you do end up changing your route along the way, so coming up here, I was going to, the route told me to go make a right turn on uh, the route E, and I was supposed to make a right turn here, but uh, I've been on that route before, and it's okay, but there's a lot of blind turns, and it's just not that fun to do at this time of day. So I decided to go on north here, and, uh, and there you go, so you can see on the GPS, it changes up the route, no big deal. So here we are going through Potosi. Again, the route was going to make put me back over to that Route E. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go on to Wisconsin, or sorry, US 61. So I kept on going north, and eventually, once I got past the two roads and went past the Potosi Brewery here, then the route changed over to US 61.